with Bob's Leatherworks in Raleigh, North Carolina. And what I'm going to show you in this video is a custom rig that I made for a gentleman who has a Heritage Arms 22, two cylinders, long rifle and a magnum cylinder. And the gun in the holster right here is my six and a half inch barrel Ruger single six. His Heritage Arms is a six and a half inch barrel too. So I made this rig scale down for weight to match the um, the 22 frame. And I also put some elements into it that make it look like the rig that Little Joe wore on Bonanza. And I will highlight those for you as I go along here. Now this is a drop loop Buscadero rig, just like that. And just to show you the back of it, if I can flip her over, there she is. While we're here, there's the leg tie and his initials, TJ and my stamp. And there is the pull down for the hammer thong. Now I scaled this rig down uh, for a couple of points. One is this, this system in through here, or this cutting, I cut a new belt style or pattern to get a little more narrow for the more narrow holster. But this holster mirrors a Paladin holster an, or an, an Ojala holster Okay, just like the Matt Dillon holster. If you look at this without the gun in it, you can see that shape of the rig that was black that had a 4 and 5 eighths inch uh, Ruger New Model Blackhawk in it. But there is that holster shape again, the cut, as it comes up out of where the gun sits. It's the same exact shape. Every Ojala holster has this shape. Okay. So I put a slightly different center bar buckle on this one. Sits up high, a little bit above the halfway point. I don't like them low. And this is right up where the cylinder comes in. If you follow your line, you'll see that the cylinder is slightly above, or the end of the cylinder is he's here and this is just below it and yet the buckle is halfway up the holster. This is a six and a half. Okay. Now another feature or the feature that makes it look like a little Joe holster are these pieces of Latigo that I ran around into both the belt billet and the buckle connector. I'll show you that one in a moment. And I worked this around in here, tied it in the back behind this piece, and then sewed them down onto this part. Therefore, you don't see them here. Okay. Need to burn these off before I send them off to the gentleman. I forgot to do that. This is just some loose threads from the sewing. I'll burn them off and flatten them down before they go into the box. Now, I didn't line this holster with suede. It keeps it a little lighter. And a consideration for suede. If you're going to be wearing a rig like this and you're out on horses and you might get caught in the rain, you don't want um, suede getting wet because it just turns to a big mush, a mess. And, and it'll stink up too. So it's better to just have an unlined rig like this one, this entire rig, every surface that you can see, I finished with Kiwi Neutral Wax Shoe Polish. Comes in the light tan uh, colored can. So, there, if you look at Bonanza, which is of course still running on TV land, 
you will see this element, styling element, on the holster. I sewed all the way around, as you can see, on the belt billet, and of course sewing this down onto here, and hiding the back of this in here means it's not coming out. There's a big glob of glue on the tail ends of this latigo on, in the back here that's buried inside here and these are not going to come out. Now I put 33 22 caliber bullet loops on this rig. And there they are. Now what you're seeing on the end I will bring around as I swing the rig around to show you the other end of it. This man's a size 40 by the way. This is a case for his uh, other cylinder, the one that's not in the gun. So it has a magnetic closure on it. And um, yeah, you're going to hear a little click when this point right here goes into. There it is. That's magnetic. That way you don't have to fiddle around with sticking your finger in here and pushing back on a snap. So this will hold either one of his cylinders. I'll just open it up a little bit so you can see it. Or if you are not taking a cylinder with you, you can dump extra bullets in here. So it has a double purpose. And this is made out of 5-6 leather. It's real thick, real substantial, and sewn together. And three of the bullet loops that are on the back of the belt are underneath this. And it is attached with two uh, line 24 snaps. Good guys. This is the part where you tuck in on a Ranger uh, belt overlap. So things go in here. This buckle is changeable. Renew or um, changeable, I guess is the best word. And what else? I think that's about it. Okay. So if you've got a Ruger 22 single six in any of the barrel lengths, they made uh, Ruger made them in four and five eighths, five and a half, and six and a half, or the Heritage Arms. There's a four and five eighths and a six and a half. Some of them um, I've noticed when I've looked at the Heritage Arms, the newer ones, they have these fiber optic sights on them. And I don't believe this gentleman's gun uh, has the fiber optic sights. It has this, the blade sights, which this gun has. See, these are the blade sights. But either way, this holster pattern uh, and the way that the holster is shaped will allow a gun with the fiber optic sights to go uh, in through there. Not a problem. This holster is about a quarter of an inch thick. And so is the belt. There's, it's the same leather. Let me get it back into the shot. It's the same leather all the way around. Two layers of this, two layers of this. Okay. And the contrast on the belt billets, the little feature that gives it, sets it off a little bit. Contrast in the colors is because it's different leather. This is thicker leather than any one layer of, of the uh, belt itself is. So makes for a nice contrasting brown. This is a real nice cinnamon brown as you can see. And the way this pattern worked out, I made a new pattern for this gun and a new pattern for the belt. This gun, this holster has zero retention and it will just fall right out of this holster and I think you can hear it going in. This is pretty tough stuff even though there's no rawhide in here at all. Okay. Okay. So I think I am out of things to show you other than a parting shot and to let you know that if you want to get a rig like this, a lot of guys have 22s, a lot of people have 22s, Ruger single sixes. And if you'd like a gun belt for your Ruger single six, let me know. You'll find all the information on the end titles 
of the uh, video to let you know how to get a rig like this for yourself. So thanks for watching from, here let's put this on, and you pull that down and there it is. Okay. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.